Yo, welcome back to Urban Street 420. I'm your host, 40. Today we're making cannabis caramels. What? Say that like five times real fast. Cannabis caramels. Cannabis caramels, baby. Come on over here. Let's get started. All right, so we're closer. Let's go ahead and turn the stove on. I'm going to turn it on to high. I've got a sauce pot here. It's got a heavy bottom, so it should heat evenly, etc. What's this shot glass doing? This is actually some... Uh, tincture that I uh, I evaporated, right? And right now, I, have, I left it on too long. You could see the oil on the sides of the cup. But what I ended up doing is adding a little bit of alcohol. I'm going to turn this off because it's a bit warm. But I added a bit of alcohol. There we go. It doesn't want to turn off. There we go. I added a bit of alcohol because I need to make it liquid so we could use it. So if you can see in here, it just looks like a tincture, but it's super concentrated, FICO. This should be about, I don't know, between 800 and 1,000 milligrams, right? Over here, I have 120 uh, milliliters of heavy cream, right? That heavy cream, inside of it, I have about 113 grams or one stick of can of butter. You'll notice, let me grab it, that it's been melted, right? Because I took the cheating way, and by the way, I know I'm gonna get flack for this, right? But what I did is I put the, the whipped cream inside, heavy whipping cream inside here, I put the can of butter in here, which was quite solid, because it came from the freezer, and I put it in the microwave for 30 seconds, I stirred it, another 30 seconds, now, yes, you can degrade your THC, you can convert to CBN, but again, we only did it for a minute total, and uh, I think we should be okay. On top of it, even if we convert some of it to CBN, these will be nice sleepy time uh, caramels, we're using FICO. In fact, the FICO for sure is gonna be stronger than the can of butter in here, but together, this is gonna be some strong caramels, yo. So first thing we're going to do on the stove with this pan is we're going to take three tablespoons of water, right? One, two, three. All right, so three tablespoons of water going in that pan. After that, we're going to take one cup of white sugar, right? It's almost like we're making uh, hard candies right now, right? All right, so we're going to put that sugar right there in the middle. There we go. Now remember, it's got the three tablespoons of water in there. In fact, we might even put a hair more because uh, this, the pan's already heating up with nothing inside of it, right? Next, we're gonna take one quarter cup of corn syrup. Now I'm gonna take some of this oil, just like put like a drop or two inside there. In fact, turn this upside down to get excess out, move my finger around, and just we're just wetting the inside with oil, right? To do that, it should make it so that this corn syrup comes out a lot easier, right? So we'll throw that in there. We're gonna take one quarter cup of corn syrup, right? So, let's see. Something like that. All right, I'll put this right here. And it came out all right, right? If you look inside, there's a little, I'm still gonna use my finger to get any extra out, but it definitely comes out a bit easier and a bit more completely if you put a little bit of oil first, right? All right, so, there we go. I'm gonna put this in the sink. Let's go ahead and take just a little bit of water to add to this pot, right? And the only reason I'm doing that is because I had everything on bef and it was already heating up, right? So I think some of the water is evaporated. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more. We're gonna put the top on right now. We're gonna leave the top on. Now what we're trying to do is bring this up to 320 degrees, right? At that point, we're gonna incorporate our mixture of heavy cream and butter, and we're gonna slowly mix that in. When we do that, the temperature is gonna drop dramatically. You're saying 320 degrees, what? Don't worry. The, the cannabis is only going to touch that. It won't become that temperature. In fact, the temperature will drop below 240 degrees. When it does, what we'll do is we'll cook it until it gets back to 240 degrees. And at that point, bada bing, bada boom, we'll remove it. We'll pour it inside this pan right here. And this pan I, I lined with parchment paper. I've got scissors in here just to hold it down. I'm trying to get it to keep its form. Mind you, when I pour the the the, what is it called, the caramel inside of here, that will weight it down. By having the wax paper or parchment paper in here, it's gonna make it easier for us to remove later, right? 
So I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to grab the candy thermometer. This is going to take a little time to come up to temperature. I'll see you guys in a minute. Mind you, it's very important to have a lid on here because what the lid is going to do is it's going to start to condensate inside. The water on the top of the lid is going to drip down. And if any uh, sugar is stuck to the sides of the pot, which will then uh, create some crystallization, which will screw up the texture and so forth, uh, the, the condensated water will drip down and it will get rid of the sugar on the side. Now, alternatively, you could take a silicone brush brush with some water and wipe the sides of the inside if you didn't weren't using a top but use a top way easier I'll see you guys in a little bit all right so it's been over a minute at least I don't know in the in, in, up in the video I'll leave you know because I'll check the time because I didn't stop the video I'm gonna go ahead and take this off it's important that you leave the top on for at least a minute because you want that condensation to drip down in case of any of the sugar crystals are trying to rise up on the sides. This will tame them. Now we can open this up, take the top off, make sure we let any water drip off in there. We're going to take our, our candy thermometer and you're not going to be able to see the temp, but I will. And that's what's important here <laughs> is that I know what the temperature is, right? So right now, if I look at this, it looks like it's a it's jumping up pretty quick. We're at 180, we're at 190, and again, what we're looking to do is go to 310, 320, and at that point, that's where we're going to incorporate our heavy cream, can of butter, and fico, right? It's going to drop because of the temperature of this, it's going to drop the temperature of everything significantly. Then we'll cook it back up to 240, and by the way, once we add this uh, mixture in, there's no stop stirring it. Right now, we're leaving it alone. We're not touching it. But once you add this stuff, you're just going to keep stirring until it's ready, right? So right now, we see that we are almost at 230 degrees. And this is going to take a little bit of time, you know what I mean? So no worries with that. We got all the time in the world. Just kidding. Let's get this done. I want a caramel, baby. Woo! All right, so while this is going, right, and this is quite warm, et cetera, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to just pour this into the our cream and butter mixture, right? So like that, and just try to get all this stuff out. And I don't know how well you can see, especially when I move my hand, the top of this, you just see some brown green dragon, right? Definitely dark in color. But it's, uh, again, this is Fico. I'm calling it Green Dragon because I added some more alcohol to make it, you know, be able to use. Now you can see right here, there's a little bit. What I'll do is come in here and see if we can get it off. We're also going to pick up the spoon, see if we could get it off with the spoon. There we go, right? Put this back in here. Now, technically, you could put some alcohol here in it up and make a drink out of this when it's cool. And that could be, look at that. Let me see how well you can see that, right? I don't know how well you can see, but because I don't want to spill, but I'm just going to stir this up. And again, if we look over here at the temperature, we can see that we're 265-ish Fahrenheit, right? So, and again, we're going to three, uh, 310, 320, right? All right, so here's the thing. So we just mix that in here, right? But I think what we want to do is just keep, we want to stir this before we put it in here. And again, we're going to do it in batches. If you dump all of this, this sugar is going to shoot up. You're going to burn yourself or screw up your kitchen or hate me or whatever. So you got to do it little by little. Break this down into six or eight, you know, meaning like pour a little bit, then keep stirring, pour a little bit, etc. Right? I'll say something else, you know, while we're waiting. Um... You're like, hey, shut up. Just kidding. Anyway, so you don't really want to go past 320 degrees Fahrenheit. If you do, somewhere at 340, 350, somewhere in that range, the sugar will explode. <laughs> hot, I mean painfully hot sugar exploding on your skin, you're going to the hospital, right? You're getting third degree burns. You're losing pieces of your skin. They're grafting from other places. Be super careful. I can't say that enough. As we just passed 300 degrees Fahrenheit, I'm going to keep my eye on this and I'm going to stop talking. I'm just going to stir this. And when it gets to 300, I'm going to pull it off the fire, or 320, I'm going to move it off the fire, I'm going to move it here, and I'm going to slowly start incorporating this. Mind you, oof, when I smell this, it smells crazy like cannabis, right? Uh, I've never done it with cannabis butter and fico, so this is new, but um, usually just with can of butter, right? But we're trying to make these a bit stronger, so yeah. Right now we are at 318, 
We can give it another a couple half seconds. We're right there. We need to be right there, which will be 320. And again, we're going to pull this off. I've got a silicone spatula here. In fact, I think now we're at the right temp. We are. I'm going to move this. I'm going to put this here just so I have somewhere to put the spatula, right? So I'm going to take this off, right? And st continually see, stir this. I'm going to hold the spoon and I'm going to slowly start to incorporate this, right? And you could hear inside there it that you you can't see because uh, my hands in the way, but you could hear that it's just going crazy. And in fact, moving the camera is not even an option now because the reality is I have to keep stirring the whole time. And look at that slow, steady stream, right? Perfect. So almost like we're pouring tea, right, in the Middle East, just lifting it up, baby. By the way, that's a sign of a good tea preparer or pourer, is the higher they lift it when they're pouring it, they're aerating it, uh, and that's supposed to make it taste even better, more developed flavors, etc. Anyways, so as this is then, we're going to put this back, right? And uh, we're going to go ahead and try to get all the remaining goodness out of here. Now we don't want to, oof, whoa, we don't want to stop for too long, right? I'm going to take this um, the spoon. I'm going to move that off so I could use this to pull everything out. And I'm just trying to get it. And the only reason I'm trying to do that is who cares about the condensed milk, right? But the reality is there's fico and can of butter in here. So we want all of the goodness out if we could get it out, right? So if we look at the temp, right? Right now we're at 210, right? And this is still going. And we're going to try to get anything else off in here that's in here. There we go. And you'll notice it's it, it's risen, right? I don't know how you can't really see right there, but it's risen dramatically. And right now, again, where the temperature is not, we're not at 240 yet, but that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to cook this up to 240, right? Now again, we're gonna try to go in here and try to get anything that's extra that's inside. It looks like we got more or less all of it, right? And now I'm more worried about this. I'm gonna take the scissors out of there, which I was using just to hold this to create the mold, right? Because when I pour this, I wanna pour this quick. Now it's gonna take a few minutes. We are close to 220 and you're just gonna keep stirring, right? And you don't wanna stop stirring because if you do, I mean, sugar can burn in seconds, right? And so don't worry, like the, the, the thermometer is getting covered in the caramel. Uh, we will be able to clean it later. Super easy. What we will do is we will go ahead after everything is out, is we'll fill this with water. We'll boil some water in there. And then the boiled water will help remove everything that's in there, right? Now, if we had turned the burner off uh, when we started to incorporate the butter and the, the heavy whipping cream, etc., then it would have taken longer for this to get up to temperature and you'll screw up the process. So when you remove this to add the stuff, you don't necessarily have to remove it. I did, but you could also just pour it while it's there. Um, the reason I remove it for that, that, that few seconds is I'm hoping the temperature drops even faster because I want to limit the exposure to the hot temp. Huh? Now we just reached 220 degrees. We've got 40 degrees to go, baby. Another couple minutes, right? We're at 200 and oh, 225, something like that. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to put it in this pan. We're going to leave it for 30 minutes. We're not going to put it in the fridge. We're just going to leave it right here. After 30 minutes, we're going to add some coarse sea salt to the top. And then we are going to leave it for hours, right? Maybe three hours or so. And that's at that point, it should harden and set and be ready. Then you could take it out of here, cut it in whatever size, shape, pieces you want. Wrap those pieces in uh, parchment paper and you're good to go, huh? So... We passed 230, we're at 232. Now, mind you, when the temperature starts going up, it usually goes up quite quick, right? It's sat at 220 for a little bit, but going from 220 to 240 is happening much, much faster. So be aware of that, right? Do not think you have time to answer the phone, go talk to a friend, uh, see what just happened in your show or your series. You need to be watching this and be on top of it, right? Now, if you let it pass 240, like too much, what's gonna happen uh, like if you get to 245, 250, then this no longer is going to be these sweet, soft caramels. They're going to be hard caramels, right? Or harder. So we're getting closer. We're two, three, two, three, four, five degrees away, huh? Something like that. So I'm just stirring this, making sure everything's good to go. 
keeping an eye in here because I want to be pretty accurate when I remove it. And just looking at the thermometer, boom, we're good, huh? So I'm going to go ahead and take this and we're going to pour it in here. Look at that. Now you can see the color, the consistency, all that good stuff, right? Oops. Trying not to pour on the thermometer, but <laughs> it's like uh, I need one more hand. Anyone let me borrow their hand, please. All right, so. Oh, there we go. See, I knew I was going to do that. It was going to do that, right? All right, so pretty cool. This we are going to put right here, and that's what we should have done to start. <laughs> Sometimes I think I make mistakes. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna say this now, and it's probably not really true, but I, I feel like I make mistakes just so I can show you guys what to do when I make those mistakes. Even though technically, it's just a, a stoner oops, you know what I mean? I mean, it, it's funny, huh? Making videos, there's so many things to remember. It's not just cooking. If I'm cooking, this shit is way more, I could be super, super stoned doing this, and it's no problem, but I have to think of things when I'm doing the video, right? All right. So, I think that's golden. We're gonna turn off the stove because I'm sweating, yo. We're gonna leave this in 30 minutes. I'm not gonna record this, but in 30 minutes I'll come back, sprinkle some sea salt, or maybe I'll do it with my cell phone so I don't have to move the camera. And then, we're gonna wait three hours, we'll come back, we'll take this out, we'll cut it, we'll try it. I'll see you guys then, baby. Yo, so we're back. Ugh. I hate when I have to do part of a video and then I need to do a bunch of things and then I finish the video because my brain's like, yo, where were we at? I had a couple meetings that I had to go to. One of them was to hopefully sell this painting. This is one of my paintings, huh? For those of you who don't know that I'm an actual an artist, right? Uh, this is resin on wood, uh, acrylic and spray, and then it's got an LED, right? You can turn it on here. <laughs> Anyways, your interest is still available. Unfortunately, the guy didn't buy it, but uh, yeah, so we're back. I think they're set. Right now, I decided not to have the camera close because do you really need me to see? need to see me put a knife into it, right? Give me that knife. Anyway, so uh, you could cut this however you want. You could use a pizza cutter, you could use a knife like this, you could use kitchen scissors if you wanted to, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plop this out. You can see that at 30 minutes in, right, as it was starting to set, I sprinkled some really coarse sea salt on top, right? <coughs> anyway. So let's go ahead and take this out. When I take it out, you can see it's pretty, it's pretty hard, right? Hard-ish. And what I'm going to do is just pick a place and I'm going to cut like a strip. And after I cut the strip, I will create a square and that's what we're going to eat. Now here's the thing with this caramel. Uh, these are, uh, they're not total, they're not hard like suckers, that, but it's not a super soft caramel. It's a medium soft, which is exactly where I want it to be, right? Now here's the thing about these caramels. Like I said, I use the fico and I use can of butter. I don't know exactly how strong this is gonna be. So if we look at this and we say eight times six, eight times six is what? <laughs> eight times six is 48, right? Anyway, 40, let's say it's, uh, hopefully I'm right. Jesus, I'm tired, I'm a little stoned. <laughs> Uh, 48, and I think there has to be well over 2,000 milligrams in here. So these are going to be like, what, 40 each or more? I'm not sure. See, that's the thing. Because I used the FICO and I don't remember how much tincture I had before I, before I evaporated. Anyway, so we're going to try this, right? Mm. 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 It's a caramel. You don't really have to chew it. You could just let it melt in your mouth. But I'm trying to chew it because we're making a fucking video, yo. <laughs> I'm not done chewing. I didn't think about that. It's gonna take a bit to get it down, huh? Anyway, absolutely delicious. I recommend you try this. Now, what do you do with it, right? Let's cut another piece, I'll show you, right? So, hopefully I cut them all similarly sized. That way, once I know how this one feels, I'll have an idea where it's at. Take a piece of parchment paper or wax paper, put it inside, 
and just uh, fold it up inside, right? Now I can just fold this over, fold this older over, and I can twist the sides, for example, or I could fold them over and use a piece of tape and put the tape, right? I could put them in their own bags, but this is gonna make it so it doesn't stick to anything. I can drop these in the fridge, drop them in the freezer, etc. Guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like, share, subscribe. You know the deal, baby. Till next time, I'm out.